Democrats are in a panic after the special counsel investigation into Joe Biden having classified documents in his garage was released. Even though they are relieved that he's above the law and not going to be charged with the same thing that they're charging Donald Trump with, they are very upset because the report did label him an elderly man with a poor memory. And so they're turning up the gaslighting. And I will tell you, Jake, uh, I was in Israel on October 7th, as you know, and President Biden was nice enough to call me. And I can tell you, this was the day before that interview, I can tell you he was sharper than anyone I've spoken to about a very complex geopolitical urgent issue. Yes, sir. He sure is sharper than anyone. When I we pushed all these programs, I said, I'm going to be a president for everybody whether you live in a red state or a green state. A red state or a green state. <laughs> There's no doubt in my mind that, uh, that this special prosecutor could have written the same report without using these words. Elderly man with a poor memory. I, I, I'm, I'm, you know... Uh, like you, I'm, I'm a simple country journalist. I, I can hey, buy a lot hey, of different, hey, hey, I can John, buy a lot of different John, ways to say this. Yeah, you know what? I'm a simple country like that. lawyer. Yeah. John, I'm a simple country lawyer, and I know. What's the headline? What should the headline from this report be? Not indicted. Not guilty. Right. Not the evidence to indict him. Actually, the headline should be another Democrat above the law. As it relates to uh, what has been said uh, by, you know, by uh, in this report, it is something that we don't believe lives in reality in the sense of this is a, this is a president I have spent. I've known this president since 2009. I've known this president. He's been not just my boss, but a mentor to me. And no one in this building would say that what we saw in this report about his memory. Everybody sees somebody who works very, very hard, has spent hours with him, understanding exactly where the American people are and what they're feeling, and also how to deliver uh, on those critical, important issues to them. Nobody in the entire White House, she says, thinks that he's an elderly man with a poor memory. Not a single one. So the way that the president's demeanor in that report was characterized could not be more wrong on the facts and clearly politically motivated. Yes, Camel Face, he's the sharpest tool in the shed. So the best way to get something done, if you if you hold near and dear to you that you uh, um, like to be able to... Anyway. And some people would think that this is just a meme, mocking an elderly man with a poor memory, depicting him as wearing a hard hat backwards. But... Those people missed the story about him actually putting the hard hat on backwards. Even a five-year-old knows that this is not how anybody ever wears a hard hat. Anybody who's ever touched a hard hat knows that this is wrong. Anybody who's ever seen a hard hat knows that this is not how you put them on. And it's not even like you need to be briefed on how to wear a hard hat. People who have never even stepped foot onto a construction site know that this is completely idiotic. A lot of times when you go on vacation or you go on a field trip or take a tour of a factory or somewhere, you'll have to wear a hard hat for safety reasons. And nobody would ever be so dumb to put the hat on like this. And let's not forget that Snopes, the all-knowing, all-powerful fact checker that's tied in with Facebook, declared that that was fake news, that Joe Biden did not wear his hat backwards. So that when people started posting the photo of it, it couldn't go viral. You know, when something is declared false, then it blurs it out, it dumps it down the memory hole, you can't share it. And surprisingly, they did reverse this ruling because it was so ridiculous. But that shows the depth that these people will go to to try to protect old Joe. This is him yesterday in the White House sitting down with the Chancellor from Germany. And the press were allowed to take some photos, but Joe Biden wasn't allowed to answer any of their questions. <laughs> He just sits there and laughs. There are severe and growing concerns about his mental capacity. And he just sits there with them shouting questions. We're going to make our way out. Thank you. And just laughs. And they keep asking, to their credit, because the gig is up. So yesterday, they put out this salamander-looking creature named Ian Sams, who is the White House counsel spokesman, the 
spokesman for the group of lawyers that protect the Biden administration to double down on the lies since Karine Jean-Pierre is the world's worst liar, well, next to old Joe, but so is he. The report lays out how the president did not share classified documents with anyone. The report lays out how the president did not knowingly share classified information with anyone. The report says exactly the opposite and that Joe Biden's biographer destroyed evidence trying to cover up that crime. But of course, he won't be indicted either. At some point after learning of special counsel Hur's appointment, Mr. Biden's ghostwriter, Mark Zwanitzer, deleted digital audio recordings of his conversations with Mr. Biden during the writing of his book, Promise Me Dad. The recordings had significant evidentiary value. The lies about this situation are so bold that CNN pretended to be an actual news organization for once, and their resident fact checker actually fact checked some of them. One thing that President Biden said is basically that he stored the documents in filing cabinets that could be locked. Let's listen. All the stuff that was in my home was in filing cabinets that were either locked or able to be locked. Daniel? Just, just not true, John. Uh, this report from the special counsel includes photos. Those photos include shots of a box uh, just sitting in President Biden's Delaware garage. The special counsel described it as a badly damaged box sitting amid household detritus. He means this box, and this was just one of the numerous lies that I debunked in my report about this yesterday. So go and check that out in case you missed it. Please continue. Okay, another claim that President Biden made. None of the documents were highly classified. Let's listen. None of it was high classified. Didn't have any of that red stuff on it. You know the red stuff. I mean, around the corners. <laughs> the None of that. Daniel? That claim that he didn't have any material that was quote unquote high classified is also not true, John. The special counsel's report says that the president possessed multiple highly classified documents that were indeed marked as being highly classified documents, including some marked as top secret slash SCI, sensitive compartmented information. That is a very high level of classification. This is just too bizarre. I feel like it's New Year's Eve and we're watching the Twilight Zone marathon on the sci-fi channel. Uh, and then the third claim that he made, Daniel, there was that he did not share classified information with a ghostwriter on a book he was working on. Listen to that. I did not share classified information. I did not share it. With your ghostwriter? With my ghostwriter. I did not. Guarantee you did not. But what the special counsel said it. Well, no, he did, did not say that. Okay. okay. He did not say that. So he's entitled to say he didn't do it. He can defend himself. But he also said the special counsel didn't say that he did share that classified info with the ghostwriter. Except, John, the special counsel did say that explicitly. Her wrote, quote, Mr. Biden shared information, including some classified information from those notebooks with his ghostwriter. So there it is in black and white. I mean, what's next? Is Jake Tapeworm going to question old Joe's memory? <laughs> oh, wait, what's this? The, the memory lapses that President Biden is described as having in this report this is not the first time anybody's raised issues of President Biden's acuity. And in fact, twice this week, President Biden referenced uh, European leaders, conversations he had with them in 2021, when both those European leaders had long been dead. <laughs> and let's not forget the highlight of the week when during his primetime presidential address and press conference to combat the concerns that he's an elderly man with a poor memory and dementia, that he said... Israel borders Mexico. As you know, initially, the president of Mexico, Sisi, did not want to open up the gate to allow humanitarian material to get in. To Gaza. I talked to him. I convinced him to open the gate. I talked to Bibi to open the gate on the Israeli side. And that epic gaffe resulted in Donald Trump posting this meme on his true social account of a map that was made up by... Meme maker, the right to bear memes, who also goes by grand old memes. This guy is brilliant. This guy never misses. There's Israel and the Gaza Strip right on the Mediterranean Sea. And there is Mexico. <laughs> For some serious information that you're not going to find on my YouTube channel or really anywhere else because no conservative ink pundits will dare talk about it. 
You're going to have to order my new book, The War on Conservatives. Get it in paperback from Amazon.com or download the ebook from any of the major ebook stores. And of course, there's a link to the Amazon listing in the description below. So head on over there and check it out.